Right back at you, family. One more again, one more time to my OGs, to my future OGs, to my people that just out here trying to do life. Uh, welcome back to the game of life. If it's your first time, I'm your host, the real OG. Uh, make sure y'all out there in the in the in the game of life that you're hitting those uh few things, those bells and whistles that we need you to hit the subscribe the follow and the shares um this is the new tv talk show the game of life for you all that's just getting it out there um this is where things get real we talk about community health wealth and happiness um and we stay on the community topics and things of that nature um please go out there and Watch the show on Sundial Networks. That's www.sundial.tv. If you're watching out there and YouTube, uh, search us under Sundial Networks. I know it have been pulling up higher and higher. And as we get you know further and further in and more viewers, it'll pull up much faster. You all want to go out there and see us and be a participants in our Facebook forum. Please look at us up under uh, Game of Life, or you can look it up under The Real OG. Um, I want to thank you all for participating and being a part of uh, this family here. And uh, we're here we're trying to um, give health, wealth, and happiness is our mantra. But we talk about the community topics and what's going on around our world and as you can see i'm a black man so a lot of times i talk to the black community but we always want to be talking to the human spirit because there's only one uh race and that's the human race we're here on planet earth and that's who we are if you were a dog or a cat you're not part of the human race and you some of y'all dogs and cats are pretty smart Mike can get with what I'm talking about, but I'm talking to you. You, if you're a human, that means you can understand what I'm doing to translate what's going on. Um, today's topic is going to be uh, what's optional in life. And I'm going to be talking more so to the black community today because we got to get moving, people. And I, I, I need y'all to be getting healthy and getting your mind together. And that's what we try to do here. I try to ring the bell to get uh waking our mind up and our spirit up and today's show probably gonna wind up going into a two-part series so i need y'all to break out your pencils and papers and i need you all to come right back tune in if you're seeing it on the network uh hopefully we have you know one and the other one follow uh i know if y'all watching on the wednesday friday that might not be the case or somewhere in there but if you're out there in the youtube world you can uh follow the next episode please do please leave the comments and let us know what you think of what we're doing out here in the world and um we just try to elevate the human spirit and elevate the community and, and as y'all can see as i said before i'm, I'm a black man y'all can see that so a lot of times i have to speak to uh the things and topics that affect me in my life and the people that are in my life um and I, I want to be still getting those inputs from the other communities out there in the world and the focus is in the way you see the world that we live in. Um, so yeah, today's topic I'm going to be getting into will be more on um, to the black community and that's finding a reason to make this a better community. And as I said, what is optional? in life you know what i'm saying and how do we get in the space that we're we're, we're at um if you've seen some of the series where i talked about 50 years and the human spirit and all these other variations of where we're going i'm just trying to wake up something inside of you and wake up something inside the community the community as i spoke before can be a community of 10 or 10 million it's just you know what we choose to um shape see and want you know out there um but the mind is everything and, and every one of us can control the environment that we're in 
Now to resolve a lot of the things that we have out here, we can pretty much do that pretty quickly. And I was talking with a gentleman today and he spoke on a topic. He never, he never knew me, but he said generally the same thing I've said before. We can solve most of these problems if everybody take it upon themselves to take care of the things that's right there in their space. But we know everybody's not going to do that. People are going to go dormant, go retarded. I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do that. You know what I'm saying? And <laughs> that's where it's at. And so now it's leaving everybody else having to lift up the leg to get um, things moving in the, in the proper direction. But I want to uh, talk about, you know, the slave mentality of the mind that's been brought about here in the black community. And um, a lot of the um, things that we have working against us, you know what I'm saying? And these are um, the characteristics that you may have in your mind, you know what I'm saying? The characters and the things that you've harnessed over time and put on repeat in your mindset. And it's, it's, it's like your subconscious working against you. When we talk about the, the the mind never goes to sleep. The mind is constantly, when you sleep, you dreaming and all that stuff that's coming out and you all that's having those bad dreams. We spoke about that before. That's just that stuff that's resonating that, that you really trying to hide and suppress throughout the course of the day. Now you should be having good thoughts of, you know, where you going, the opportunities for your kids or your loved ones, you know what I'm saying? Some of you all don't have kids or you still have loved ones, I hope, you know what I'm saying? I hope you got aspirations for friends, you know what I'm saying? And we want our, our young people to be having good spirits and leaving a better community to them here, you know? But um, I want to talk about uh, a few of the things that's uh, plaguing the um, black community as a whole, you know what I'm saying, that's been holding us back. Um, for a while and what's real and what's not real, you know what I'm saying? Um, and the first thing is uh, education. Um, and I ain't talking about a college degree. I'm not even talking about a high school diploma, you know what I'm saying? Because we got a lot of people that haven't never graduated and they went out there and learned some things and they're doing okay in life. You know, I would look, I, I want to see most people doing better than okay. I want to see you in the space where you really want to be and, and, and thriving, you know what I'm saying? And thriving doesn't mean that you got to have, you know, some monetary value. You ain't got to have, you know, $100,000 in the bank account. You don't have to have, you know, four or five cars and a big old house and all the clothes you want, you know what I'm saying? Well, thriving can be everybody's inside we want. We really want something and being able to put it on the table and know what you want and achieving that. You know, too much. We see too many other these um, videos out here and we assume that's what it is. And half the people in the videos don't have half the stuff they're in there portraying they have in these videos. Or you see these movies that they make, half of them don't have that. You know what I'm saying? Especially in the black community. You know what I'm saying? I've talked about that and we know in the majority of these communities across the country now yeah if you live in the California or New York or one of these bigger cities that have these superstars that stay there and you may be in that particular community but the majority of these other municipalities and counties um Kanye don't stay next door to you you know what I'm saying Jay-Z ain't down the street from you Michael Jordan ain't living around the corner from you so that's come into reality and harness that and harness the reality of the communities that we in we have to we got to build and that, that's what I'm all about is, is building let's have fun and enjoy getting there once, once we get our mind together you can have fun doing and a lot of times I talk about the being happy is being uh, making that journey and be feeling good about that journey you know what I'm saying now, the education, as I, I spoke on, that's one of our biggest ones is knowing and knowing how to get information. You know what I'm saying? The op information is out there to us. But one small stat is uh, in 2019, 28% of black men have bachelor degrees. Um, 
but white men, 40% of them have it. I'm going to give you all a staggering stat at the end, and I don't know, I don't think I would probably make it by the end of this particular show of it, but yeah, 28% sounds pretty good for us, you know what I'm saying? But guess what? Out of white women, black women, black men is at the bottom. They're at the bottom. You know what I mean? Of having that minimum education. Now, when we get into high school graduates and things of that nature, it falls further down. You know what I mean? That was the stat that I'm saying, okay, I don't want to be negative. I want to be positive here. Well, it's 28% of them that's graduating with bachelor degrees, 28% of them are black men of that portion. You know what I'm saying? And I commend you all that are doing that. You know what I'm saying? That say it's some progress going there. You know what I'm saying? It's just we in last place. If it was a race, we in last. We in last. You know what I'm saying? So that means we need to be encouraging more. And don't get me wrong, college ain't everything. I know a lot of y'all don't want to hear that. You know what I'm saying? But we talked about those stats before of the white middle class population. The majority of them don't have college education, but they still in the middle class of America. They electricians, they plumbers, they roofers, they have skills. So let's start chasing those things out there. Let's start chasing those skill things that we need to build a community. You know what I'm saying? See, we fell for the banana in the tailpipe. Like I said, about us being scammed, you know what I'm saying? Trick. That's where you, how you're getting scammed the trick. They're telling you one thing, then you go to school for that, and you get out, you got to get referred to. All that time you had done that, you could have had your skill and already be up 100000 Hey. I'm just here, you know, to, 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 to pull the sleeve and let us know what's going on, where we at. But, yeah, education, that, that, that's, that's one of the number one topics. We got to know how to be able to go out there and get the knowledge that we need. And you have access to that knowledge now very easily, you know what I'm saying? Very easily. Um, but y'all do y'all research on that. Now, my second one is going to be on poverty, and I'm going to... I'm gonna pull up a, um, a, a chart um, for you. And just talking in general, we talk about um, poverty. The United States is not like number one. This is a staggering thing. Now, yeah, people out there telling the story, they're gonna tell it. Like, well, no, it ain't that bad, blah, 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 blah. And we doing good. And I've even came over here and said that also, you know what I'm saying, about the wealth levels here, you know what I'm saying, in comparison to other countries, you know what I'm saying? No, we, we doing damn good compared to third world countries, you know what I'm saying? Third world countries, you know what I'm saying? Not compared to our next door neighbor, Canada. Canada got us beat on our poverty, you know what I'm saying? Come on. So let, when we telling the story, let's tell the story for what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about the out of the top 25 um, industrialized countries. We we falling behind. I mean, don't get me wrong. Our country is much bigger than a lot of these on here. You know, like Iceland, Denmark, Finland, France, uh, New Zealand, Norway. Uh, Poland, Australia, Switzerland. Um, yeah, we uh, we bigger than them, you know. But um, on the poverty, it's a mindset, and 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 we've become stuck in that mindset of poverty. You know what I'm saying? So we gotta get, we got, we got, we got to come out of that. You know what I'm saying? We got to get a mindset. That, that we can be rich, that we can, you know, have wealth, you know, stop looking at these other people that are doing um, things. I mean, and, and, and we got to respect that, that and be happy that we have our entertainers out there that's doing well, our sports people that's doing well. But it's so many other things that we can be doing that can get this community moving, you know what I'm saying? And, and we're able to sh share that wealth around and around in a circle. 
like I said, we got to get in these politics and we need our own political priority. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, we got to be we got to be doing vertical issues, people, vertical issues. I talked about that before, not horizontal issues. And it's a lot of us out here that's moving and shaking. And it's a new time and a new age. And I believe we're going to get that done in the next five years, probably. You know what I'm saying? That we'll have that mindset that, OK, yeah, we need this and we need to know what we want. And we spoke about that on another show, the past show, actually, that we're recording this at this particular time about knowing what we want. And we as a community have to know what we want. Once we know what we want, we know what that look like, then we can go after that. You know what I'm saying? But when you have a poverty mind state, you know what I'm saying, you're trying to compare yourself to third world countries. We don't want to compare ourselves to third world countries. In fact, United States of America, one of the richest companies in the world, in fact, the richest country in the world, when you're the number one richest country in the world, but you number 26, 27, as far as poverty, you know what I'm saying, in the world, uh, some ain't adding up here. That means some wealth ain't getting spread amongst the people. You know what I mean? And it's not because it's not accessible here or uh, available, because we, we know it is. You know what I'm saying? If we talked about resources. This stuff is growing out the ground, so they it's a it's a game, people. That's what we talk called. It's the game of life, teaching you the game. You know what I'm saying? And if you ain't having fun in the game, you're probably losing. You know what I'm saying? And we're trying to have more winners than losers, so we're trying to make this a, a team effort. You know what I'm saying? So more people can share the trophy, so more people can enjoy the win. Now, um, like I said, we've talked about that 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 poverty mindset, but I'm a, I'm gonna give y'all another staggering. Um, stat, and that's uh, of thirty five percent. That's one third of white men raised in poverty. That's low income. End up in the top forty percent of America. And that's back to what I talked about: those trades and different things. I mean, they don't have to be the smartest, brightest, and all this, that, and other. But they got opportunity to go out there and get them a nice construction job. Or other in job that doesn't need very much education, they can show you and they get out there and get it. You know what I'm saying? And they can end up in the top 40% of America. Not the bottom, you know, 10% of America. Where the majority of black America is. I've talked about that stat, about 50% of our population is down there in the poverty level. 50% people, come on, let's wake up. I'm not, this is some serious shit we on. We got to get up, get moving, you know what I'm saying? Take it serious. Take this community serious. Um, but the verses, um, the black men, um, for, uh, what we got here, not only 19% of the black men in America rise to that, you know, middle part of America. Now, you know, 19% versus 35%, that's a pretty big gap. And we ain't even going to get into the um, totals because I'm going get, to get into that later on. You know what I mean? But I probably have to do that on this show and do it on the next show. You know what I'm saying? Just as far as the deep comparisons of the situation. But uh, only 19% of black men can rise out of that and, and get into the top 40% of America. You know what I'm saying? Now, we already know what that top 10% is. Them are the ones that's making them millions, you know what I'm saying? So they're not even seeing that because the majority of us aren't seeing that. And, and we need to start seeing that because it's an easy reality when we're saying a white man can basically, you know, get there. And, and white women are the ones that are really moving right now, the biggest movers and shakers within this. Now, um, earning, uh, our, the, the third one we're going to get on to is, uh, earnings. You know what I'm saying? That's the pay income regardless of gender. That's black, white, whatever. You know what I'm saying? We got to get, we got to get moving and that, and that's back. Like I said, back to the education, knowing how to get these different skills, and getting that poverty mindset lost and gone, black men will earn $378 less per week than the white man. And he's going to 
earn 125 less than the white woman right now. That's on average. And that's not per month. That's per week. So it's in 120 dollars $500 a month. You earning less than the average white woman as a black man. Now, we're not trying to, you know, say women, men, blah, 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 blah. But men, black men are generally earning more than black women. You know what I'm saying? But white women are earning more than black men. You know what I'm saying? And white men are at the top of that pile. You know what I'm saying? More black women are, you know, increasing their earnings and outpacing the black men at this point right now. You know what I'm saying? The white women are almost catching up to the white men now. Since the 1990s, the white women have, that's when they surpass, you know, the black men pay status. You know what I'm saying? They're the fastest growing group. They, they're, they're pay grades and opening businesses and stuff like that of that nature is outpacing everybody. The white woman, she on the move. We we seeing all the things, you know, to the black woman, the white woman, the women's lib. Well, it's working for the white woman. And I ain't going to say it's move, working so much so for you black women. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to take nothing about, away from you. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully you don't take it your way, no kind of way. Because I know a lot of our black queens out here are emotional. You know what I'm saying? You that motherfucker in it? No. I'm saying what it is. You know what I'm saying? And what we going to do about this situation here because it's a real situation and we need to be calling everybody on deck you know what i'm saying even to the white men and the white women saying hey look it's a problem here we need to address this you know what i'm saying we're doing the same work you know what i'm saying but we ain't getting the same opportunities to get the same jobs you know you're saying we make up 13 15 percent of the population then on all these major job sites we should be making up that same employment ratio within those businesses it can't be reflected there. It's an impossibility that we reflected there amongst higher because we're going to get into the unemployment. You know what I'm saying? And on the earnings, think about that. This is all, I mean, this is what doing anything for your community, your family, or anything is going to be based on those incomes. You know what I'm saying? We can take the education away. We can take the poverty away because we go back to the 60s and 70s, even the 50s, when black men were bringing in a good earnings and they wasn't the most smartest people. You know what I'm saying? And that black community was thriving. You know what I'm saying? When we go back to the 1920s and before then, we had, we had our problem, but the community, we had some of our own things. We trying to get back to where we talk about the, you know, the Black Wall Street and a lot of other uh, things that happened that we had black success and black beautiful communities that got handicapped we're gonna have a total show probably dedicated to that because i mean a lot of us are talking about the black wall street and that's being highlighted a lot but it's a lot more other communities and other ones that happened before then that inspired the black wall streets so we need to know those different things you know what i mean we need to know that and our kids and things of that nature need to be uh aware of those things now i'm gonna bring up this uh the um Unemployment chart. I want to get on that because my time is running out real quick. So we're going to get on this unemployment. But black men are twice as likely to be unemployed versus white men. Twice. I mean, you're, every one of them that's unemployed is two of us unemployed. And we ain't making up the workforce. So it's more of that. You know what I'm saying? We're talking about the men that are actually working or ever had a work we're more likely to not ever been entered that um workforce you know and you see the statistics you know of the average percentage of you know what the unemployment rate is but they don't even put you on the chart and especially in our black community when after you've been offered there six months they just say you're unemployable they only even add you into the equation so the black unemployment rate amongst the black community is much higher than the, the, the 5.8, actually 6% average rate, you know what I'm saying, that's out there. 
We got to understand that. So we got to be able to start building these businesses and getting our political agendas together so we can build these communities and say, address these situations we got to we got to go with. Um, I, I'm, I'm, at, I'm up out of time at this particular time, so I'm going to do a quick PSA and get on out of here. Um, but y'all come on back. Um, to, 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 to those thoughts that, that we've been talking about and that's uh, you know finding a reason and what is the options in life now I need y'all to make sure y'all coming in checking out us on the Sundial Network that's www.sundial TV y'all make sure y'all out there supporting also www.highd TV y'all make sure y'all going out there and supporting that and make sure y'all out there drinking your water and being healthy. I need y'all to be out there exercising and getting yourself together because we want to be seeing that health, wealth, and happiness. You can't be healthy and be in good spirits if your health is messed up. You know what I'm saying? Now, a lot of this is just some simple stuff of just getting off your ass and walk around the block, you know, one time a day. You know what I'm saying? Let's just start there. You know what I'm saying? Just drink, you know. One thing of water. I mean, I keep my water on me, y'all. Y'all, y'all. I mean, this is some simple ass shit. This is just, just pure laziness. You know what I mean? The letting your, your your health go to waste and community. I understand the negative spirits that we into. You know what I'm saying? And it had you, you, you had you gone. You know what I'm saying? And 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 then no haters on top of it. Them haters out there hating on you, pushing your spirit down. You know. I ain't haters, I've been getting y'all here lately now, you know what I'm saying? To my haters, I'm giving you your ones, you know what I'm saying? Everybody out there, get them haters, them ones, you know what I'm saying? But this is uh, the TV show, Game of Life. Now, y'all come on back, check out the next episode of that, that two-part series that we got. I love y'all. Y'all be strong. Come on back. When you're ready to go from local to global, Web TV can help you reach your prospective audience and hit the target. With your product, service, or brand in a personalized ad campaign with business packages from every size of business. When you're ready to do some new and cool stuff, come and see us at Web TV. This could be your commercial being seen by thousands of viewers. You can email us at webtvmedia1 at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing from you. Live at Blackstone Smokehouse, showcasing the Eclipse Band and also featuring tomorrow's future talent and star only on sundial networks tuesday and thursday night 7 p.m saturday 8 p.m if you're in the live bands open mic talent we have a treat for you only on sundial networks every tuesday and thursday night 7 p.m saturday 8 p.m if you're in the flint area please come to see the live tape at blackstone downtown flint every thursday night 7 to 10 p.m a new TV channel, Sundial.tv. That's S U N D I A L dot TV. Urban culture, music, lifestyle, fashion, talk shows, comedy, and more. Check us out at Sundial.tv. TV lineup What happened to that one hit wonder? The battle. New versus old. Top 100 countdown. Old school mix up. Slow jam. Sundial. So put us in your browser. S U N T I A L dot TV. A new way to watch TV on the web. Check us out. High D dot TV. That's H I G H D dot TV. High Dimension Networks. The lineup. Top 100 of all time. Old school hip hop. What's new now? Top 10 from the street. That's my jam. New to the game. And legends in music. Yeah, that's right. It's about time. Something new in TV. A brand new game. New flavor in TV. High Dimension Network. H-I-G-H-D dot TV.